This is an easy way to get a ton of experience every game. Seriously, guys, the base handguns in this game, the sidearms are what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the fastest way that you can level up in call of duty modern warfare now i broke this video down into five aspects of multiplayer that influence how much xp you get per hour so i want to jump right into it you guys but first make sure you guys jump a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click that bell to tell the youtube algorithms that you like my content and you wouldn't mind seeing more with that out of the way let's jump into the first bullet point that i have here on my computer now the most obvious and the easiest way to increase the amount of xp you gain per hour or per game or however you want to measure it is with double xp this is the simplest way you just type in a code and it doubles the amount of experience you're obtaining now obviously you can get this in only one of a few ways um primarily purchasing a mountain dew or doritos products now these double xp codes are printed on the sides of the packaging so some people have said that they just took a picture of it they didn't buy it they ended up plugging it in other people are reporting that you actually have to purchase the product before that code is actually activated in the database so i would play it safe and actually purchase the product um it just it's only fair that way if you guys don't want to purchase mountain dew or doritos you can always search through twitter and look for double xp codes you can search hashtag modern warfare uh, and there are tons of content creators youtubers streamers who are giving away codes on Twitter for free just for following them or entering a giveaway or something like that there are guys there are thousands of people who are giving away double XP codes so if you have a few a little bit of time just scroll through Twitter see if you can find anybody who would be willing to uh, give you a code either as part of a giveaway or just because they have extra and they want to grow their fan base now the only other way that I can think of right now to get double XP is to wait for a double XP weekend so of course that doesn't really uh, help you guys right now but just make sure that if you follow the official Call of Duty accounts on social media they will post when the double XP weekends will be and you'll know exactly when you should be playing the most to maximize how fast you level up so that stuff was basic right that's obvious that's just double XP that's easy so let's get into the nitty-gritty here the next thing I want to talk about is the weapons that you're using in modern warfare now in this game uh there is a challenge system and we're going to be talking about that a little bit later in this video but in previous call of duty games every single gun had a kill challenge where you had to get a certain amount of kills with that gun and when you reach that milestone you would get a nice chunk of xp this was the primary reason that people recommended using different weapons in multiplayer in order to rank up faster because you would reach those little milestones for every single gun and it would get you all those chunks of xp would stack up and you'd actually get a a uh, better XP per hour however in this game those challenges do still exist but you have to manually turn them on and there's tons of other challenges that you can be working on and those challenges might not be the best ones to go for all the time right you have to leave it on if you want to be working towards it however it does seem to be that the weapon XP that you gain for your gun is somehow related and correlated to the actual experience you get as a player now we don't know the exact correlation between between weapon XP and player XP it could be a linear relationship it could be correlated in some other way um, but what we do know is that getting multiple guns to a smaller level gets more experience for your player than getting one single gun to a high level so for example if you got two guns to level five you would actually gain more experience than getting one gun to level 10. so even though we don't have that challenge the challenge system as, as we did in older call of duties it's still beneficial to use multiple weapons in order to rank up faster so this means that you guys should be using all sorts of different weapons and leveling them up and seeing which guns you find the best uh, all while gaining more experience than if you were to stick to a single weapon now the only thing to keep in mind with this is that only use weapons that you can do somewhat consistent with right like if you switch to a shotgun and you keep getting one or two kills per game obviously you're going to be losing out on experience that you could be getting from a weapon that you could be getting maybe 10 kills or 15 kills per game um, even though you're using a new weapon and you're getting experience for a new weapon weapon you're getting such fewer kills that it's not actually worth it so take this with a grain of salt 
um use as many different weapons as you can but if you find that a gun is just absolutely abysmal you just cannot figure out how to use it then just skip that weapon and go on to something else now one other thing to consider when you're creating your classes right obviously you want to switch weapons a little bit but also the munitions box will actually give you experience when your teammates resupply so if you're playing a team-based game mode like team deathmatch or domination or something like that and you put on munitions box you can place the munitions box down in a high traffic area one that you know maybe your enemies won't destroy it right away uh, and you can maximize the amount of points you get by just making sure that your teammates know hey here's an ammo box make sure you resupply and it'll give you I don't know if it gives you 10 or 25 experience um, and that doesn't sound like a lot but if you're doing this every single game um, this is gonna be equivalent to maybe three or four extra kills every single game so with weapons and creative class out of the way let's move on to challenges in modern warfare now the challenge system has been reworked for modern warfare it's not the same as it was in previous Call of Duties um, but one really crucial thing to keep in mind is that there are daily challenges that reset every 24 hours so it looks like at the time of recording this there are three daily challenges every single day it looks like they get a little bit harder as you go down at least from what I've seen so far and they give you a nice chunk of XP so make sure if you're playing the game if you're playing daily make sure to work towards those challenges at least until you hit level 55 that way you can level up as fast as possible now when it comes to the regular challenges they are actually in the form of missions so a mission is a set of challenges that you actually have to manually turn on or activate and focus on throughout your gameplay so for example the boot camp is the first set of missions and it's five very simple missions i think it's just win a game get a kill streak get five kills something like that it's very very simple uh, and there's other ones so there's ones based on getting certain numbers of kills with weapon types there's certain uh challenges for getting certain amount of uh kill streaks things like that so make sure that you're working on different sets of missions at a time because eventually you're going to reach a point in that mission where it's going to just be too hard and you're not going to be progressing and you could easily switch to a different mission where you'd be getting way more experience so if you kind of hit that brick wall with the mission that you're working on and it's just too difficult to progress just switch to another one it's not going to reset your progress you won't have to start over you can kind of bounce around depending in between matches it's fine um, so make sure you're keeping an eye on your missions and make sure that you're switching in between matches to ones that make the most sense for you and the ones that are easiest for you to get so that you can level up even faster now the fourth thing I want to talk about is in-game play so how you're actually playing the game um, there's two things that are pretty simple in order to get more experience per kill one of them is getting a headshot so getting a headshot in this game will get you I believe it's 10 extra ex experience points every single kill which doesn't sound like a lot but that's 10% more experience so you Im immediately get 10% more experience per kill by simply shooting them in the head and in this game headshots aren't that difficult to get because the headshot multiplier at least at the time of recording this is absolutely insane you absolutely just delete people if you shoot them in the head so aim for the upper body the recoil should pull you up somewhere towards the head uh, and usually it's maybe two three bullets at max to the head to get that kill um, again the headshot multiplier is insane so you should be getting headshots relatively easily however I'm gonna be making an entire video on how you can get headshots way easier and way better in modern warfare so stay tuned for that make sure again make sure you subscribe with notifications on if you guys are interested in getting more headshots quicker headshots more headshots per game um, I'll be posting a video about that in the next couple of days now the second thing that you can do during a game to maximize the amount of experience you're getting per kill is actually getting a one-shot kill medal now of course you could use a sniper rifle to do this or you can play on hardcore mode which means pretty much every gun that you're gonna be using is gonna be a one-shot kill now granted if you're shooting with a submachine gun at long range it might be two shots in which case this won't actually help you too much but it is worth noting because you also get that headshot multiplier as well so you can kind of stack those two if you are playing hardcore now I'm gonna kind of use hardcore to transition into the final uh, bullet point and the final aspect of multiplayer that I want to talk about so of course hardcore if you guys don't know if you haven't played hardcore in a call of duty before it basically limits the amount of the display the amount of information that you get there's no mini map there's no ammo count anything like that but everybody has about 30 health which is like 30 percent of what the normal health is in Call of Duty so because of this obviously you can get kills easier but you can also die easier however you do get that one shot kill bonus so if you guys are good at hardcore if you've played it before or if you can just adapt to it pretty quickly hardcore does actually get you more experience per game strictly because of that one shot kill experience bonus with that being said if you're bad at hardcore you're gonna be doing worse which means you're gonna be getting less XP so you have to decide are you good at hardcore if you are 
definitely go ahead and do it you'll be leveling up faster if you're bad at it and you can't figure it out you can't get a hang of it then just go back to standard game modes so if we're talking about game modes this is gonna be the final point um i want to talk about some of the best game modes that you can be playing to maximize xp now i'm going to talk about three standard game modes and two slower game modes so the three best standard game modes to play are domination headquarters and tdm um i don't know which order they are i believe domination headquarters gets you more experience per game or per hour than tdm does however i know some people don't like domination or headquarters so they could just play tdm instead but of course you know if we are talking about maximizing your xp playing domination and headquarters and actually playing the objective on top of getting kills will get you the most amount of experience you can get now if we're talking about the game modes that get you the most amount of experience we're going to be looking at cyber attack and search and destroy now these game modes are a little bit slower paced than the other three and that turns a lot of people off a lot of people don't really want to play cyber attack or search and destroy however you do get way more experience per kill and in cyber attack i believe you get experience for reviving teammates so i haven't played this mode myself but i have heard of other people telling me that it is kind of crazy the amount of experience you can get playing that game mode so just keep that in mind guys um if you're okay with playing those game modes they're probably going to be your best bet for leveling up quickly unless you're an absolute pub stomp master in which case domination headquarters probably your best option now of course the best way to do well in any of these game modes is by teaming up with your friends or other people who are trying to maximize the experience they get every single game now if you guys want you can comment down below your activision id or your playstation id or your xbox id and you can find people in the comment section below who are also interested in leveling up quickly you guys can party up using crossplay and you can play together and this way you can communicate with one another you have a common goal of leveling up quickly you can play together and kind of maybe even form some sort of friendship wouldn't that be great so guys comment down below letting me know what your uh gamer tags are for the various different platforms again it is cross play so we can all play together and again having a party and working towards that goal and actually communicating over voice chat is going to help you improve your game and do even better than randomly partying up with randos now the other thing that's cool about partying up with friends is if you play ground war which was actually introduced in a patch this morning um this morning being the 25th ground war wasn't in the game at launch but it is in the game now um you actually get experience for teammates spawning on top of your location so this is really great because if you're playing in a party with your friends you can just find your friends who are alive spawn on top of them they get some experience and then they can return that favor and you can kind of communicate that with each other so that way if you're playing ground war with your friends everybody's getting just bonus experience just for people spawning on top of you and again it might only be uh 10 experience however that's a tenth of a kill so you're getting 10 percent more experience just because your friend chose to spawn on you now the final tip that i want to leave you guys with is shooting down kill streaks every single create a class that you have unless you're using overkill or it's some wacky class if you're running a pistol switch to a launcher the base launcher in this game is very good at shooting down kill streaks and this is easy experience guys i cannot tell you enough how many players are running personal uav right now because of course it is the default first kill streak that you get and also you start with hardline in this game hardline is one of the first perks that you get in this game which means everybody is getting personal uavs for only two kills so it's super super easy to see enemy personal uavs they show up on your mini map and they're very large they just they die to a single rocket and you get a hundred experience per personal uav that you destroy so this is an easy way to get a ton of experience every game seriously guys the base handguns in this game the sidearms are not that good so if you're running around tdm you might as well have that launcher you spawn in you look in the sky oh there's an enemy personal uv you shoot it down you switch to your primary and you keep going if you do this every time you spawn in there's probably gonna be a personal uv up at some point right you're gonna be getting at least probably 500 experience per game extra just by implementing this tactic and again it's easy you just spawn in switch to the launcher destroy it switch back and run and that's it of course this comes in handy if they end up getting a chopper gunner or something like that now all your classes have a rocket launcher and you can take care of that pretty easily but guys this is like i don't know why people aren't doing this i'm every single game 
I, I'm running this rocket launcher and I'm getting near the top of the leaderboard, not because I have the most kills, but because I'm shooting down all of the kill streaks. It's great. You can shoot down personal UAV, you can shoot down regular UAV, which a lot of people are running right now. Um, and you get a ton of experience just from doing this. This is equivalent to a kill. It's equivalent to a kill and it takes literally two seconds. It's basically guaranteed because it locks on. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe for more Call of Duty Modern Warfare tips, tricks, and gameplay. Click that bell if you want to be notified the next time that I upload a video. And guys, if you want to follow me on social media or join my Discord, links are all in the description below. My Discord, we can talk about maybe partying up together. You could play with me if you want to. You could also share your thoughts, opinions, and things along those lines. Again, all those links are in the description below. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.